Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Josh Thomas here from the Bit Block, and today we're gonna have a little bit of fun. I'm gonna be talking about 15 things that I love about the Nintendo Switch. Um, I was gonna add in some things I don't love about the Nintendo Switch into this video, uh, but I didn't have 15 things that I don't love about it, and I don't really know exactly what I wanna talk about with that just yet. So I might do another video where I talk about things that I do not like about the Nintendo Switch. Uh, so let's just focus on having some fun, being positive, being a little joyful here tonight. It is 4.24 in the morning, which is a great time to uh, talk about Nintendo as far as I'm concerned. Okay, let's get right into it. Uh, hopefully this is not an insanely long video, but uh, let's do it. Okay, number one. Oh, and I want to point out that these things are not going to be normal things, right? It's not going to be like, I like, you know, The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Of course I do. They're very specific things to a point of maybe stupidness. Uh, but anyways, let's get into it. It's been like a minute. Haven't even started. Let's go. First of all, a big 3D Mario adventure game. Oh my god. I have wanted this for so long. I'm not a huge fan of 3D World. I don't hate it, despite what people on GameFAQs are probably saying right now. Uh, I actually think it's okay, but it's not the type of a 3D Mario game I'm looking for. It's not a real 3D Mario game. Hey, guess what? Super Mario Odyssey is a real 3D Mario game. It's a big open world sandbox like Sunshine and 64 and... Oh my god, does that excite me. Like, beyond belief, I cannot wait. It's, it's gonna be amazing. All right, next up. I love the neon Joy-Cons. I think they look amazing. I love the fact that you've got the neon red, neon blue. I love that it's two colors. Uh, I think it's like, you know, it kind of reminds me of some of the, my favorite Nintendo systems from back in the day, like the GameCube. I love having color in my video game system, and so... Yeah, I don't want just like the boring gray system. That's not Nintendo to me. I want the colorfulness. And man, I think they chose some great colors. Uh, and if you don't like the two colors mix and matched, you can actually just buy two of the blue or two of the red and do that. But uh, I love the neon colored Joy-Cons a lot. They are pretty amazing. Um, next up, the Luigi's Mansion Double Dash Battle Mode map is making a return in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That is one of my favorite battle maps of all time. You guys know how much I love Halloween. I think that's been proven here at this channel. Uh, so I'm so excited. It looks so cool. They've redone it and uh, made it look all modern. They've added a few things into it. I love the fact that on the roof it's raining now and they added the trellis over it, like the awning. Uh, it just looks, oh my god, I'm so happy that Luigi's Mansion from Double Dash is making a return in the battle mode in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. That's very, very cool. We're definitely going to be playing that on Halloween week this year, so look forward to it. Oh, I should be snapping into each one of my things that I love. Let's start doing that from now on. There are better shoes in Splatoon 2! Um, some of you might remember, as the ultimate in shoe style, I'm the, the shoe style boss. Uh, I don't know what that meant. Uh, I've considered myself pretty good when it comes to shoe style. I have like 200 pairs of shoes. Uh, I was always very disappointed in the shoes in the original Splatoon. There were only a few that I liked. Uh, and so, from what I've seen, there are some better shoes in Splatoon 2. Uh, one of the pairs looks like a pair of high-top Adidas Superstars. I mean, obviously they're like a, an inkling version of them, but I like the shoe style more in Splatoon 2. Again, these are random selections, but these are things that I am very passionately excited about, so, yeah. Uh, next up, I love the fact that this is, I'm sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting notifications on my phone as I'm recording this about people sending me messages on Twitter, so it's really distracting. Uh, I love the fact that this is a modern video game console on the go. We've never seen this before. The 3DS is kind of, in a way, you know, there are a lot of games on the 3DS that feel like they could be a, a, an actual home console game, but not nah, quite. Uh, so I love the fact that I'm going to be able to take such big, real, genuine, meaty game experiences with me on the go. Being able to play Mario Kart 8 Deluxe on a plane, or Legend of Zelda, or just any of these games, uh, I love it. This is a home console on the go. Uh, it's a two-in-one thing. Oh, I, I absolutely love that. I think Nintendo did this perfectly. Uh, I can't wait to own it and be able to go all around with it, like on a plane and stuff. Um, I don't travel a lot, but... I think I'm going to just start traveling so that I can use this on the go. Uh, next up, there are many modes in the battle mode for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. I know I already used Mario Kart 8 Deluxe before, but in case you don't know, Papa Joshi is very excited about finally getting himself a battle mode in Mario Kart. I'm, I'm genuinely getting giddy just thinking about it. I'm not even joking. Uh, I played so much Mario Kart Wii battle mode online with friends. It was like a 
tradition of ours that we would, you know, we knew that like once it was about 11 o'clock at night, we were all settling down at our houses and we'd just, you know, be like, all right, let's do it. Mario Kart 8, or I'm sorry, Mario Kart Wii, we're gonna battle it up. To think we're gonna be able to do that again is very exciting. Um, so yeah, the other, I, I kind of went off track there for a little bit, but um, there are five modes in the battle mode for Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. They leaked out from the Polish Nintendo website, five different modes. Uh, we've got Bloom Battle, we've got Bob on Blast, we've got shump something with a Shine Sprite, which I'm assuming is the Shine Thief mode from Double Dash. We've got Coin Runners, because there's a coin, and then there's a weird Piranha Plant mode. Don't know what that's about. It's the Piranha Plant item already in the game. Maybe that's like everybody gets the Piranha Plants or something. I don't know, but five modes? Baby! I would not even, even in my greediest form, I wouldn't have said five modes. I would have been like, uh, three or four. Five is unheard of. <laughs> Loving it. Five modes for uh, for battle mode? Heck yeah. Oh my God, I'm getting a lot of messages on Twitter right now that are just, I gotta, tr not, I gotta not pay attention to that. Okay, next up. This is gonna be a weird one. But I love the grass in The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Again, these are very specific things to love, but... Oh my god, like, when you look at the ground in Breath of the Wild, how it's got all these little sprigs of grass and, you know, different heights, different shapes. Some of them, they have little daisies in it, little flowers and things. It's so good looking. It's so damn good looking. I love it. It's it's something that, to me, I've wanted this more in games. I know it makes me sound like such a, a, a graphics horror or something, but individual grass, that effect, that shader goes such a long way. Like, I'm just gonna frolic in the grass in my underwear as Link for a very long period of time. But the grass in Breath of the Wild is something that absolutely stands out to me as being particularly spectacular. Also, I haven't kept that up at all in this video. There, I'll make up for the lack of it. There we go. Um, the HD Rumble. I know a lot of people are like, mm, HD Rumble? Uh, I'm a gamer. What do I need interesting things for? Uh, but I've always been on board with the HD Rumble. I think that's so cool. I've said it before and I'll say it again. Leave it to Nintendo to take something that nobody else cares about anymore and do something totally new and exciting with it. I have not felt it myself, but I'm looking forward to gently grasping a Joy-Con in my luxurious palm and feeling all that fancy HD rumbleness. Um, that got weirdly sexual on purpose. Uh, but yeah, I, I just think that's so cool. I can't wait to feel it for myself. You know, we've, we've, we've never been able to really feel the games in such a detailed way, so that's very cool. I hope a lot of games take advantage of that. I think they will, because it's not something you necessarily have to be really creative with. You don't have to think a lot about it. Uh, just being able to say, oh, how would this feel? You know, I think that's easier than coming up with like a totally new idea or something like that. <laughs> HD Rumble, I like it. Next up, uh, Breath of the Wild has voice acting. This is something I've wanted in Zelda since pretty much, I think, Twilight Princess. So I'm very happy to see it. From what I've heard so far, it seems pretty good. I'm not, like, complaining about it. Sounds pretty nice. Uh, there's a few lines of dialogue that maybe could have been delivered a little bit better. But overall, I like it. Voice acting and cutscene, I think that's going to make the story more engaging. I think we're going to be able to connect with the characters even more. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, I like it. It's good stuff. Uh, some people are like, oh, the Japanese cry. Zelda's crying in Japanese is better than in English. I disagree. I think when you are completely devastated, when something horrible is happening, you don't, you don't, you don't go, <laughs> you're more of just like, you're more of like torn to pieces to where you don't even vocally cry fully. Trust me. I know a lot about crying. Uh, but I think the English performance is, I'm looking at the waveforms of my audio and that was really loud. Uh, but no, I think the English crying was way better because Zelda's supposed to be just completely distraught. She's broken down. When that happens to you in real life, you don't like bawl and scream. You kind of choke on your crying a little bit. And that's exactly, listen, you're wrong if you think the Japanese crying is better. And you can disagree with me all you want. Go to Game Facts right now and let them all know how evil and horrible I am. Uh, anyways, but I like, I like voice acting. It's pretty good. It's pretty good voice acting. Um, next up, took me a little bit of time to warm up to this game, but I love the characters in ARMS for the Switch. You know, ARMS, of course, the new IP that's coming where you get to box and fight. I'm really excited about those characters. I think they're pretty cool. I like the character design in that. Um, I love the, the what is his name? There's, there's Spring, no, Ribbon Girl and Spring Boy or Spring Man. Uh, you think if I liked the characters, I would have bothered to learn their name for this video, but didn't bother to do that. It's something like that. I like how he's got toothpaste hair. I like that toothpaste hair. I kind of want that myself. Um, I just like, look, 
characters look cool, and I'm sure there are a whole bunch that we don't even know about yet, so I think that's what's gonna make the game really enjoyable. The characters, the personality and the, the weird characters. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. Pretty big fan. Next up, this is a weird one. I really like the facial expressions in Snipper Clips. I love everything about Snipper Clips, but uh, the weird facial expressions that the characters make, it's like they're enjoying being cut to pieces a little bit too much. I mean, they really like being snipped and clipped. Uh, I think that's their names, by the way, Snip and Clip. Um, but I don't know, there's just such a weird awkwardness to their like, and they like make a lot of weird erotic faces. Um, and I like that. So anyways, yeah, I'm being dead serious. I do like the facial expressions in that game. It's just so charming. Um, next up, again, another thing about Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild, I really love the subtleness to the audio. If you ever just watch a straight up gameplay of this, uh, of this game, there's not like constant music playing. And don't get me wrong, I love music, obviously. I love music in my Zelda games. But when you're just exploring outdoors, the way that the music will just kind of jump in when something is happening, it's so cool. It's hard to explain. Basically, like, you know, when you're just Link and you're, you're, you're going around in the field and stuff, you don't hear music. You just kind of hear the, the sound effects and the atmosphere. I think it's so calming and so peaceful and it just feels good. And then maybe you enter an area where there's a base that has a bunch of enemies. Then some music cues start to pick up. Maybe you start combat with them and then the music cues really start to pick up more. Uh, and I just love that. I love the idea of the music being so organic to the experience and not overpowering. I'm sure there will be a lot of moments where you hear some big, typical Zelda music. I'm sure it'll sound amazing. But just being able to appreciate the sound effects in the game of nature, that's really cool. And a lot of games don't do that, especially on Nintendo systems. They really do focus a lot on always having music. So I, I love that. I think that's just going to make it so peaceful, so enjoyable. It's almost an ASMR-like experience to go around in this game. So I love that. I love the subtlety to the music. Um, next up, this is something I've been really talking about a lot. And I don't know how many people really... I haven't heard a lot of people mentioning this. Maybe I'm just not listening to the right people. This is an all-in-one Nintendo system. I love the fact that the Nintendo Switch seems to be Nintendo's one system that will get all of Nintendo's new games. We don't have to worry about them being split up between a handheld system and a home console system anymore. Uh, I know some people will be like, not true. Nintendo said it's not replacing the 3DS. If you believe that, you're a fool. Because Nintendo said that the Nintendo DS was not replacing the Game Boy. How'd that turn out? They said the 3DS wasn't going to replace the DS. How did that turn out? They're just saying that because obviously they don't want to be like, Hey, guess what? I know that we've got millions of these Nintendo 3DS and 2DS systems in warehouses that we still need to sell, but we're not going to make games for that anymore, so don't buy it. They're not telling you that because they want you to still, some people to still buy them. They want to sell through their stock of those systems. Um, but in a year, you're not going to see many 3DS games launching. And so, yeah, I love it. I love the fact that all the cool eShop games, all the retail releases, all the virtual console releases, finally unified in one place. I just realized I accidentally said they're unified in my crotch. I didn't mean to point down to my crotch. Um, but yeah, you know what I mean. One Nintendo system for all the games. Mm, I like that a lot. Next up, I love the fact that you can charge via USB. One of the problems I had is when I lived in the Chicago area, when I lived up in the suburbs of Chicago in Schaumburg, um, I would often come home to visit with family and, uh, and, and what would happen is I would forget to bring the charging cable for the damn gamepad for the Wii U. So if you have, a, if you have the gamepad and it's not charged, uh, you can't do anything on the system. It's, it was really annoying. So being able to charge the Switch without having some specific Nintendo charging thing, huge, huge improvement. So USB for charging, I love that a lot. Uh, it's definitely gonna save me in many occasions where I forget to bring a specific Nintendo charger because you don't need it anymore. And then finally, I think this is 15. I forgot to count before this, but I'm pretty sure it's 15. I absolutely love the woods area of Super Mario Odyssey. I'm realizing now on the on the text document I accidentally wrote Super Mario Sunshine. 
I put the woods from Super Mario Sunshine. That's not true, Josh. Stop thinking about sunshine, you fancy fella. Uh, no, the wooden area from Super Mario Odyssey. I know we've only seen a little bit of it. Like we've seen some video, we've seen it in screenshots, but oh my God, I love the atmosphere in that world of this game. It's so cool. The big giant trees and, and all the, the leaves and the grass. And I love those weird robots that are like kind of rusted out and Mario's dancing in the woods. We can dance in the woods with Mario? <laughs> It's good. That's my favorite area so far in all of Super Mario Odyssey. Uh, it's just, oh man, I love the way that looks. And you got like the sun beaming in through the through the branches and stuff. I can't wait to explore that area. And I heard that apparently it's really good for exploring as well. There was an interview where I think the director of the game said that that's a really good area for like exploring and getting lost and just discovering new things. They're saying all all the right things with Super Mario Odyssey. It's just so amazing, guys, girls and anything else that might be watching this video. Aliens that for some reason have intercepted this YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hopefully you enjoyed my crazy list of 15 things that I love about the Nintendo Switch. Hey, leave a comment below. Let me know some of the weird, more random things that you have spotted that you particularly love. And again, don't be boring. Don't say like, I sure love um, The Legend of Zelda. You gotta go more specific than that. Uh, so yeah, hey guys, keep it locked right here to the Bit Block for a lot more coverage on the Nintendo Switch. And until next time, I will see you later. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, I really, really want to play the Switch already. We still got like a five week wait.